In the 2019-20 season, two IBU Cups and the Open European Championships were reallocated because of warm temperatures and lack of snow. In these exceptional circumstances, we wanted to know what goes into the organization of biathlon events and understand the challenges of a last-minute venue relocation. The base is to host IBU events you need to have a stadium license. That means you need to have a so-called B license for IBU Cup, Junior Cup, and you need to have an A license for World Cup and World Championships. After that, it's clear you need to have any kind of snow production, snow planning, volunteers, minimum 150 for an IBU Cup, Junior Cup, and really going up to the big World Cups having 1,000, 1,500 volunteers. Accommodation is a big issue, then you have a lot of logistics in regard to travel, starting with visa, with import-export of rifles, but also with all the transports, meaning pick-up at the airport, uh, drop at the airport, daily transport from the venue to the hotel and back, and finally uh, live TV. Which is uh, not only a big topic organization-wise for the, for the host broadcaster, but also a big topic for those broadcasting this event everywhere in the world. If you have that, you know approximately four years in advance for, for a World Cup and you know approximately two years in advance for IBU Cup, Junior Cup and so on. When it comes to reallocation, first question is, where is the venue located? So ideally, it should be located somewhere close to the original venue, so that, for example, the teams could use the same airport. Uh, second question, of course, does this venue have snow? Would that venue be free that weekend? And the uh, third point, uh, does the venue or the close surrounding uh, provide enough accommodation? When you come to a higher event where you have live TV involved, that's a bigger story because um, to set up without any pre-planning is not a piece of cake. So that's really changing um, everything dramatically. When it comes to a World Cup, there is not much choice you have actually. These events are so big that you have in principle only two choices. either. You stay at the venue where the last World Cup was conducted the week before or you go a week earlier to the next venue. Any reallocation is kind of tricky and it creates a lot of situation which is not very nice. So for the teams, for the athletes, it's changing the whole planning. Same is for spectators. If you are planning for months to visit an event and then suddenly the event doesn't take place or take place at a venue where you don't have a chance to travel to, that's a pity. But the main question is, do we have a competition or no competition at all? So at the end of the day, I think it's important that we compete and that we find a placement solution which, which is the best possible.